Hey, what's up YouTube? Guess who's back with another video. So obviously, we all know why you clicked on this video. Why am I filming in this certain location, you may ask? Um, well, my roommate, not gonna name who, is dead ass asleep in the living room and I feel like I talk loud whenever I film videos. So it just kind of seemed more reasonable for me to come to my um, cave, man cave, obviously. Yeah, that's that's what we're, we'll call this. Some of you are familiar with my garage. Some of you are not. That's cool. Um, I'll just show you around some other time. But um, these fucking flies, I, I swear to God, that's what's holding me back right now. And it's hot as fuck out here too. So if I'm like sweating, Bear with me. Anyway, so yeah, this title of the video, it's not misleading, it's 100% true, and I'm just gonna like break it down for you. Um, yeah, I don't think I've ever actually have done a story time video on my channel before, and I kind of like took a second and thought about, um, what kind of story should I like first tell you guys? Just a little like get to know me, so to say, and um, this is probably like one of like the top most embarrassing ones, so <laughs> why not start with this one? Due to, you know, respect to privacy and all that kind of fun stuff, I'm gonna be switching names of people that I obviously interacted with in this story. So this took place, let me see, honestly, back in like 2012, 2013. It took place during my sophomore year in high school, so yeah, it's like around that time, I think, is it? Or is it 2011, 2012? Yeah, no, actually, I'm just kidding. It's probably, honestly, it's like 2012. This shit was irrelevant. It's like almost five years ago. Anyway, moving on. So, my sophomore year in high school, I get invited to go to uh, one of my classmates' housewarming party, so to say. She had just, like, moved into the community that's like across from the high school that I went to and so she was like having something at her house and she invited me and like a few of her other friends so you know I was like yeah I'll go why not that was around the time when I like first started like going out and partying too like I would go out with my cousins like from a different school a lot and go party with them so I was already kind of familiar to the party scene like I wasn't someone like new at it I wasn't someone shy you know I was definitely a sociable person in high school you know I liked to interact and meet new people so I was like yeah sure like I'll go why not so I forgot like how I even got there I think I like took the bus I think or something like that I don't know Anyway, so I show up to this girl. I'm gonna call her. What's her name? Um, let's just call her Stacy. Why not? So I go to Stacy's house, and Stacy has all these people over. I'm not trying to like name anybody in particular, but I'm just like thinking of faces right now. But I would say there's like probably a decent like 12 people there. It was more like a kickback thing, honestly. So, um, yeah, I'm here at this like social scene and there's like ASAP Rocky playing in the background and you know there's some people in the living room like just kind of like chilling sitting down and there's some people in like the other living room because it's like one of those houses that have like two living rooms and then like a kitchen no one was really like drinking so to say and it was still kind of early it was probably like um like 8 30 or 9 like it wasn't like too late yeah you know I was just kind of like talking just kind of like getting to know each other, I guess. I forgot, I don't know who, like, initiated the, like, pitch, but someone brought up, like, shots. And I volunteered, I was like, oh, like, I'll take a shot. And there's this one guy, we're gonna call him Jack, um, because I'm pretty sure it was this guy named Jack. Turns over and he's like, oh, you're, like, you're down to take the shot? And I said, yeah, I'm down to take a shot, like, you know, I ain't scared. <laughs> so then he gets one of those, like, tall, skinny, like, shot glasses, like, I think you know what I'm talking about, right, the, like, really, like, skinny, but, like, tall ones, and he, like, fills that shit up, I, I think it was tequila, or vodka, I'm not sure, it was clear, I'm pretty sure it was actually tequila, no, yeah, I'm more than 100% sure now it was tequila, so he ends up filling up, you know, the shot glass to the rim, and he, like, hands it to me, he's like, take the shot, and it was just, like, one shot, it was just, like, me, by myself, and I said, what? And he's like, yeah, he's like, take a shot so we can get, you know, like, the party started. And then, like, once, like, 
Did you take the shot? Like, we'll all take shots, like, with you. Really? Like, it, was this really necessary? But, you know, I didn't really, like, fight it, so to say. I just was like, okay, like, <laughs> deadass just took the fucking shot, pounded that shit, put it back, and I was like, alright, like, everyone pour up, like, let's take another shot. And then that's when Jack and, like, a couple other people were like, oh shit, like, it's going down. And I was like, well, yeah, it's going down. So then literally after the, like, temple of the, um, kickback scene, social scene, like, picks up a little, you know, when people start drinking and everyone starts getting more, like, um, comfortable, so to say, like, and the music gets louder. So, yeah, 40 minutes to, like, an hour into the thing, everyone, like, is, like, now, like, the atmosphere changed. It was popping, you know. There was people drinking, playing beer pong, dancing, having a good time. And I had showed up by myself, but I had ended up, like, um, hanging out with, like, a certain like small like group of friends that were there and one of the girls there I actually had like in that friend little circle I had a crush on at the time and so um what I'm gonna call her Jennifer you know why not so I had a crush on Jennifer Jennifer was there with her sister Jennifer was there with her other friend and them three they've all been drinking too as well and so like we're all you know buzz and like hanging out blah 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 whatever well turns out Jennifer and her sister happen to live in the same community that, um, whose house were we at? Stacy's? Yeah, we're at Stacy's house, so they had literally, um, snuck out of their house, which was, like, down the, like, fucking street on the corner, I guess, and so they had to be back by a certain time so their brother wouldn't know that they, um, left. I think at, like, one point in the night, it was, like, 10... 30 or something it wasn't like it wasn't too late but it was like a curfew time you know like come on we're sophomores in high school you know we still have some restrictions so to say like you can be out past a certain time anyway so yeah they just like were at one point in the night like ready to go they're like oh we're gonna like go and I was like okay you know that's cool but then Jennifer invites me to go back to her house with her and her sister and her sister's friend. Her sister's friend wasn't a guy, it was a girl. Funny part of the story too is that a lot of guys were hitting up on Jennifer at this social scene and it was funny because like yeah so we end up getting ready to leave and when the guys found out that Jennifer was taking like me back to her house like with them all like some of the guys were just kind of like um like they kind of look a little insulted that they didn't get picked but um, sorry, that's just, I, I have that effect on both males and females, but, um, <laughs> we end up going back to, um, Jennifer's house with her sister and her sister's friend, and we had to sneak back into her house, and let me just say, I was still kind of, like, new to that kind of, like, scenery, you know, so to say, like, I wasn't a big, like, I don't know, like, ninja when it came to, like, fucking sneaking out and shit, like, I was... I was a pussy back then, so I had never even tried that shit. Like, if my mom told me I couldn't go out, I couldn't go out. If my mom told me I could, hell yeah, mom, you taking me to the party, I'll get a ride home, like, let's do this. But, yeah, we had to sneak into Jennifer's house, and that shit was not, like, that shit is something, like, you would see in the fucking movie. Okay, so, we go up to her house, mind you, we're, like, fucking drunk at this point. It was, like, literally 10.30, 10.40, like... And as we were like walking on our way to fucking Jennifer's house from Stacy's house, which is like a five house like walking distance too. It's not even that long. It's not a full street. It's like a half street walk. Jennifer's sister's friend um, somehow like falls, like trips, like hits the back of her heel as walking, whatever. She fucking like face plants. And she had like a nice ass like DSLR camera. Oh my gosh, I wonder if that like detail is gonna give away any. Oh, I don't care. So yeah, she ends up falling with like her fucking camera, and like her camera like hits her face up on the fall. I don't know. And so we were just like, oh my gosh, like kind of like laughing, but also like, oh my gosh, like are you okay? Like. She had a little few scrapes, it wasn't like a big deal or anything. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, we continued to go into Jennifer's house. I had to go through her back gate, which was unlocked, thankfully, like nobody had to hop anything. And then we went through her like side door that led into her garage. Okay, so we're going through her garage, pitch black, mind you, but it's like fucking one of those garages that like have, you know, their parents have their cars parked in there and they also like store the shit 
out of the fucking garage. So, there's just shit everywhere. And you can just tell there's shit everywhere. They, like, led the way through the garage. And we were really confined. There was just, like, sports stuff in the garage. And, like, there was, like, a basketball I think I accidentally, like, kicked. And I was like, oh my god, like, fuck. So, you know, we're trying to be dead-ass quiet. And we eventually get through the garage. And we, like get to the garage door that leads like into like inside the house once we get inside it's a straight like narrow hallway with like a bunch of doors like you know on every side so the way that we're looking at it is straight down the hallway the very last door on the right is jennifer and her sister's room well there's a few doors in between the hallways some of them are closed some of them are open um but the main one is like this fucking double like doored room that you would assume is like an office but I guess it's like her brother's room uh, which is like on the same right side of wall it was like I think two doors before Jennifer's room's door and we had to basically like sneak past like her brother's room to go to her room yeah that was so risky we did it somehow so this is what happened fucking me Jennifer and her friend like scurried or darted without like trying to make any sound like down the fucking hallway and then her sister Jennifer's sister like played it off like she was going to the restroom like from like her room or whatever so when she opened up the door to the restroom which was like on the other side of the hallway that like was still in view of her brother's room we fucking like opened up Jennifer's door and we we did some shit like that I know sounds fucking it's dumb but you just do everything in the moment honestly so at this point I'm drunk I'm in this girl's room and I mean not too many details we're hanging out in there Jennifer's sister comes back into the room with, like her friend but then like Jennifer starts like you know giving me kisses like telling me that I'm cute blah 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 and then I was like okay I know where this is turning so then Jennifer's sister and her sister's friend like leave the room because they obviously knew like what was gonna like happen. They like went to go watch TV on the living room while Jennifer was asleep in the room. That's I think what she like told her brother. So like yeah me and Jennifer end up um you know start like hooking up so to say. We were like on her bed making out then we started getting like you know touchy. I'm not gonna go into extreme detail. I just like all I did was like mess around with her like waist up. It was pretty like um, rough, kinky, like, for a few, like, a good, like, 15, 20, like, 15 minutes, honestly. We were not in her room for too long, because I remember her fucking brother coming up, like, walking up from his fucking room, and, like, knocking on her door. <laughs> he sounded like he knew there was someone in the room. He was like, Jennifer, is there anybody in the room with you? Like, already just kind of, like, knowing what the fuck's going on. So as soon as that happened, she pushed, like, me off and, like, told me to go hide in her fucking closet. So I went and I hid in her closet, and, like, without trying to make any noise or anything, she was just like, Like, what? Kind of trying to just sound like she was just literally waking up, and he, like, literally was kind of still harassing her. He was like, is there anybody in there with you? You know, sounding a lot more, like, mad now. So they were going, like, at it for a little bit. And, you know, I'm just kind of standing in this, like, closet. And, um, I kind of realized at that point how much, like, I had been consuming, like, alcohol and just liquid fluids, like, throughout the day. And I, I did not remember the last time I used the restroom. And I caught myself just kind of, like, needing to use the restroom. And, um, yeah, I was, I, I realized that, yes, I, my bladder, um, I tried. I, I tried my hardest to hold my bladder, but, um, I was a really young person back then who does not have as big as a bladder as I do now, and we all learn from some mistakes, but basically, yes, I kind of, like, pissed myself in her, um, closet because I was, I needed to, like, really bad and literally after that though like after she got her brother to go away um, I eventually like ended up having to leave because she like was not down to, like risk getting caught and I was like totally fine with it too because I was like yeah like I think I'm just gonna like go like you know <laughs> so this bitch had me sneak out 
of her fucking house, the way that we had snuck in, like, by myself, so I was just... I had to fucking literally dip down the hallway, past her brother's room, go through the fucking garage, and then from the garage, like, and I did. I dipped down the hallway without her brother seeing me. Surprisingly, I don't know how the fuck I did that. I went through the garage, and I remembered, I tried to remember exactly, like, how we maneuvered through the garage the first time, and, um, no, I made a shit ton of noise, and at that point, I was like, okay, yep, this is, this is not gonna work, so I just kind of, like, dipped because I was making a shit ton of noise, and I left the garage, I left through the gate, um, hit up my ride, got home, and cleaned myself up because I was covered in piss, and that's, that's the story. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, I, that's, that's the story. That's how I pissed myself after hooking up with a girl. I can say that will never not happen again. I can only hope that it doesn't happen again, but, um, you know, sometimes shit goes wrong and you just, you just have to pee because you don't want a UTI, obviously. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys thought that video was, or I hope you guys, oh my god, this fucking fly. Thank you guys for watching and, you know, listening to this because it was probably just the most irrelevant, embarrassing story, I don't know, but give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do like more story time videos, I'll have to think of like some really good ones, because I know I have good story times, I just need to like remember what the fuck I did in high school, but um, yeah, thanks for watching, thank you for supporting, and I'll see you guys all next time with another new video, bye!